Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we're going to talk about the time of Windows updates and the install time of Windows updates actually. And I have actually monitored my PCs today to see how long it took including my 10 year old Toshiba laptop that is on an unsupported version of Windows 11. Also, I will um, talk about this as over time I've had several PCs update with Windows 10 and so on. And, um, you know, I get all of these questions about people saying, well, you know, on my PC it took four hours to do a Windows install. Well, I can tell you that anything over an hour is in general not normal, even on an old machine. Um, and let me talk about what I consider an install time. And it's extremely important to understand that. There's two types of Windows installs. So when you go to your settings and then you go to Windows Update to check for updates and you install whatever update is going to show up. Um, like today, we had the update for uh, Patch Tuesday on this machine, which is a Windows 10 machine, an older uh, Core 5 Intel machine. There's the install phase, and too many people are stuck on looking at that screen when, you know, there's an install, but your PC is still usable. You can still do other things. Uh, you should not be looking at that screen. You should be doing other things on your PC, and, you know, unless it's unusable because it's really slowed down by the process, uh, you can do something else. It will eventually tell you that you have to uh, restart to install the update. That portion is not usually what I actually count, but I did count it today just to give you an idea. That is the longest portion. That is the one that takes more time to do. Then you have a message that tells you you're going to have a restart, and that restart will have a progress until you get back into your Windows operating system. That install process is usually much quicker than the first install process. So what's a normal install time? Well, if you have a very recent PC, anything that is you know less than five years old, anything that has a solid state drive, and you can check out if you have one by right-clicking uh, on the Start button in Windows 11 on the taskbar in Windows 10, go to the Task Manager, and just on the Task Manager in the uh, Performance tab, just look at Disk. It should say, what you have SSD or HDD it's a hard R drive HDD is an old R drive SSD is a solid state drive which is much quicker if you have these types of of disks uh, solid state drive the install time on most of these machines that are less than five years old with a solid state drive uh, I can tell you that they're probably less than 30 minutes pretty much all of the machines will be less than 30 minutes to be in the depending on you know the usage they have of your PC, less than an hour um, should be okay. Less than 30 minutes is probably much more close to reality. So on this one that I have Windows 10 on, which is a unsupported PC, um, dates back for a few years, but it has a solid state drive. Uh, on this PC, the install phase before the restart uh, probably took uh, about 20 minutes. And then a restart, i pretty sure it took less than 7 or less than 10 minutes, that's for sure. The whole process was pro probably, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, I would say, uh, at, at most. On my newer machines, of course, like my gaming laptop, uh, that is even quicker. The uh, install phase, the first install phase on Windows 11 was probably 5 to 10 minutes. And then the restart with the install, less than five minutes. So the overall install was, you know, 15 minutes tops uh, uh, total. Now, that could still vary. And even if you have a, you know, depending on what you have in software. And if you have a third-party antivirus, it slows down these processes a lot. So it could be, you know, so as long as it's in a very recent machine, less than half an hour is typical. Now, how about my old, unsupported Toshiba? You might say, well, that must have taken four hours. Nope. The install process itself took about 30 minutes, 25 minutes, 
and it's an old magnetic hard drive in it and the restart total maybe 40 minutes total and that is you know just the install the restart process was less than 10 minutes probably um, so that just shows you that you shouldn't have install times that are hours if you have install times that have, are hours, uh, a few things that I would suspect is either you have too much junk software installed that is useless, like the CCleaner and all of those, um, you know, software that pretend that they're going to help in your PC's performance. None of that is required. None of that is useful, and don't does that doesn't do anything. Uh, there's no need once again for registry cleanup. It doesn't clean up anything. The minimum that it does, because think about it, the, the registry cannot be played with or tampered with much because it's going to just break the PC, the Windows operating system. So they don't do much. They, they do things that are useless and don't change anything in performance. Now, the other I suspect is third-party antiviruses that very, very, that bog down systems a lot. And if you have a third-party antivirus, I suspect that your install time is probably much longer than if you just use the basic antivirus that's with Windows, which is enough anyways. So remember that if your install time, even on a 10-year-old PC, starts crossing one hour, you have some problem. You have something that's wrong. You have something that installs that might be causing a slowdown. And the uh, other thing is if you um, have a old PC that's, you know, more than five years old, or maybe seven, eight, nine, ten years old, one of the things that could happen on a magnetic hard drive is uh, the hard drive failing, slowly failing. Hard drives don't always fail, you know, drastic and it's over. Sometimes they fail by having a tougher time writing or reading the content and that slows down the PC a lot so um, anything that is above an hour even on machines that are older is typically not normal if it's an hour and a half I'll you know kind of accept it but if you have two three four five hour installs every time you get Windows updates your PC has a big problem it should never be that long because Windows updates are much quicker than that. Look at all the software you have. Look at your antivirus. Look at anything that could be bogging down your system because it definitely isn't working right. Maybe it's time for a Windows and reinstall of Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.